Hello Collective. So I'm going to do a pick up oracle reading for the upcoming two weeks. This is timeless. So whenever you click on this video, that's when the messages could resonate the most. This is also general, so not every message will be for you. So we have pile one here with sacred plan, pile two, courage and bravery, pile three, learning experience, and pile four, um, blessings and abundance. So what I want you to do is look at the oracles and see which message is resonating with you the most. I'm just going to go down the line. I will be putting um, timestamps in the description box below. You definitely can pick more than one if you feel called to do so. So your first overall energy for Power One is divine timing. And that's clarified by sacred plan. So I feel like for Power One, the plan that God has for your life, that Spirit has for you, is getting ready to be revealed. I feel like you had to definitely wait on things to play out in order for you to see the bigger picture of certain situations, why things occurred the way they did, because it was all a part of the plan that God has for you. It's clarified by don't complicate it. The truth is simple. You already have the answers, accept people and situations exactly as they are. It will bring you clarity and peace. So yeah, you may have wondered like, why didn't I get that job? Why did that relationship fall apart? Why am I no longer connected to that family member, that friend? It's because whoever or whatever you had to walk away from, you had to detach yourself from energetically, physically. It was a part of God's plan for your life. Like you were meant to be in a season of separation for some of you. That's what I'm hearing. So you may have been in hermit. You may have been in isolation, but all of that was by design. So we're going to go ahead and clarify further to see what other messages spirit has pertaining to this. Why is divine timing and sacred plan here for pile one? Three of swords. Yeah. So there was definitely a heartbreak here. Um, I feel like somebody betrayed you. I also feel like there was people or a particular person that sabotaged an opportunity with you. For some of you, I feel like this is multiple people. This is not just one person. This is um, family. For some of you, I'm picking up on heavy friend energy as well as relationship, romantic partnerships. But I feel like God allowed these betrayals to happen in your life. So that you can distance yourself. I feel like I'm hearing distractions. Whoever um, had you in this three of swords was a distraction for you. Was a distraction from your purpose. Your higher calling. And then I have the ten of wands. Because for some of you, you were fighting to still hold on to this person. These people. We have history together. Somebody definitely um, has something going on with a friend. I feel that heavily. Um, this is somebody who you were very supportive of. You felt like this person supported you. You felt like you'll be friends to the end. But God allowed this person to show their true colors so you can detach. I feel like for some of you, there were warning signs, but you were overlooking them. Because of the friendship, because of the history, or because, you know, we're in a relationship, we're in a family dynamic, we have a child, we have children together. But it got to the point where the Ten of Wands, that you could no longer overlook whatever this person was doing, and so you had to remove yourself. It was time for you to release. So whatever God allowed to happen, it was really for a higher purpose, because you needed to detach yourself from the situation. Let's pull another energy. Why is divine timing and sacred plan here? The Ten of Wands came back out. Yeah. So what I'm getting is 
Spirit wants you to stop holding on to whatever this person did, to the heartbreak, the pain. Again, don't complicate it. The truth is simple. So Spirit just wants you to accept this person, accept the situation for what it is. I feel like divine time into sacred plan. You will understand as time moves on why things had to happen the way it did. For some of you, you may not have a full understanding now in the present moment, but you should surely will as life progresses. I feel like with the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, spirit wants you to focus on the new. You have new opportunities coming in for you. You have new adventures. I feel like whatever you experienced was definitely meant to teach you a lesson and help you to awaken, um, go through a transformation. It was time for you to change. And for some of you, I'm getting like change your mindset. It was time for you to go through an awakening. So definitely don't hold on to whatever has transpired. Spirit wants you to release. Spirit, tell me why is this significant for the next two weeks for pile one? Why is this significant for the next two weeks for pile one? What is the message? The Tower and the Page of Pentacles, Scorpio Energy, because you're about to learn some shocking information. So when this happens, Spirit is saying, don't hold on to it. You know, yes, take your moment to grieve it. It's okay to get upset, to cry it out, but don't let it hinder you from moving forward. Don't become bitter, but you are about to find out some shocking news, some shocking information pertaining to someone that you are connected to something that's really going to pull on the heartstrings but spirit wants you to know that this is a part of the sacred plan for your life because this is somebody who you need to remove yourself from for some of you you're going to be learning about a group of people that you associate yourself with but this tower moment brings change so whatever you learn whatever you find out it is truly meant for your highest good. For some of you, you could be finding out something about a Scorpio, but this was meant to happen. It was a long time coming. Power one, you need to know that. Yeah, about some type of betrayal. For some of you, this could have to do with a child. This could have to do with a third party. But whatever this news is, is meant to free you. To no longer keep you bound, keep you chained to a situation that is not for you. That you have outgrown. That God tried to remove you from a long time ago. So that's your message pile number one. So next for pile number two we have self-acceptance. Courage and bravery and then courage. Fear is natural. It invites us to be brave. Accept and face what scares you. I'm just getting like heart palpitations, like somebody's scared, like somebody's like really afraid. Spirit wants you to, look, to like step outside of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to express who you truly are as a person. I'm hearing don't hold back from your gifts. I feel like um, I'm talking to somebody who's very gifted. Somebody's very talented here. I'm getting I'm an artist. I'm also getting someone vocal skills. So somebody could be a singer, a dancer. It's like you have a very nervous energy. And God did not give you um, the spirit of fear, but the spirit of peace. Um, the spirit of courage. That's what is needed for you at this moment power number two let's pull some more energy spirit tell me more about self-acceptance and bravery for power two the nine of cups and the five of pentacles don't talk yourself out of this like whatever um you need to be courageous about don't talk yourself out of this i feel like for some of you um you're fearful about stepping into your truth because you feel like a lot of people will ab abandon you and these are people that you care about family friends you feel like they won't accept you you feel like they're gonna leave you out in the cold. And so that's why you lack courage. But Spirit is saying once you accept yourself, 
then you're not going to care about who walks away from you, who leaves you out in the cold. It's like, as long as I don't ever lose me, <laughs> then I'm okay type of energy. Like, that's what you need to be on. Like, as long as I don't lose myself, then I don't care who walks away from me. I don't care who don't accept me. I'm standing in my truth. That's going to be heavy for you in the next two weeks. Give me an energy for the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Pile 2? What is the message? The Queen of Cups and the Lovers. So for some of you, this has to do with like who you love. Um, This could have to do with same gender partnerships. For some of you, this could have something to do with race, religion, culture. But there's a difference here. And you feel like people are not going to accept who you love. They're going to abandon you. They're going to leave you out in the cold. They're not going to be satisfied. But what this Nine of Cups is giving me, like, whoever this person or these people are, like, you can't give them control over your life. You have to take back control. And Nine of Cups, you need to do what makes you happy. And if anything, walk away from these people. Leave these people out in the cold. That's not going to accept you for who you are. That's not going to accept your choices. They don't need to agree with it. But if they're going to be in your life, they do have to accept some aspects of it. Respect it. You don't have to agree with my choice, but respect it. Yeah, it has to do with who you love. So Spirit is saying be courageous. Don't back down from opposition. Not everybody's going to agree with you, and that's okay. At the end of the day, you have to live for yourself, and you have to do what makes you happy. For some of you, you could be a Gemini or be dealing with someone who has Gemini highly aspected. So that is going to be a main focus for you for the next two weeks, pile two. So moving on to pile three, we have ask and receive in the reverse. And we have learning experience. It says, trust the weight. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Embrace the uncertainty when nothing is certain. Anything is possible, you are transforming. With this ask and receive in the reverse, it's giving me like, do not feel bad for anything that has transpired in your life. Don't regret anything, but learn from everything. Like whatever you've been through, it is meant to help you grow as an individual. It's meant to help you bloom. It's helping you to change, pile three. So don't ever regret um, what you have endured. Let's get some more energy. Spirit, tell me why is asking, receive, and learning experience here for pile three? Why is asking, receive the four of cups? So for some of you, somebody rejected you. This is somebody who had options, a third party. This person walked away from you or you had to walk away. This is somebody who breadcrumbed you. So you felt like this was going to be like a life-changing experience. This is giving me somebody sold you a dream and you fell for it. And now you regret ever dealing with this person because now it's like you have to go and heal. And, you know, you just pretty much have to piece yourself back together now that you went through this. But God is saying don't regret it. By dealing with this person, you're at least going to learn what to look out for and pay attention to the red flags. So again, do not regret what you have been through. It's all meant to help you, not hinder you. Give me another energy for acts and receive in the reverse and learning experience. Why is this here? For pile number three, what is the message? Why is ask and receive in the reverse and learning experience here for pile three? What's the message, spirit? Why is this here? 
What's the energy? For some of you too, I feel like you regret putting yourself out there. Or you will. For some of you, this isn't happening yet. The next two weeks. Um, and this person is not going to be receptive to your offer. Hey, don't beat yourself up. Again, <laughs> trust the way. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over. Um, spirit doesn't want you to just continue to focus on the woulda, coulda, shouldas or um, what would have happened had I not put myself out there. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Um, you just move forward. You know, rejection is your protection. When somebody rejects you, they turn your back, they turn their back on you. God is protecting you from the unseen, things that you don't know about. So if, if somebody casts you to the side, they don't want to deal with you, be it somebody you're romantically interested in, a friend, a family member, tell God thank you. Give me another energy for ask and receive and learning experience. Why is this here? The Empress. For some of you, I'm getting like you could feel rejected by a mother figure in your life, your own mom, somebody who carried you, gave birth to you. You could feel unwanted. For some of you, I feel like where this is a mother figure, this is somebody who looks down on you. Makes you feel like you're not good enough. But just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. She became a butterfly. So don't allow anybody to project onto you. You are more than worthy. I see this also as you blooming into this Empress energy. Once you learn how to fly. So for some of you, this is like multiple people rejecting you. For some of you, you may have felt rejected your entire life. But that is a blessing. That too is a blessing. Don't ever feel bad for whatever you've experienced because it's helping you elevate into your empress energy. It's helping you tap into your divinity. It's teaching you the importance about self-love, learning experience. You're going to grow from this. You're going to become wiser. This is going to help you build your confidence. You're going to learn how not to depend on other people for validation. You're going to learn how to validate yourself. For some of you too, um, you could be pregnant right now or be finding out that you're pregnant and you may not want the child because the relationship didn't work out. And you may be beating yourself up over it. But spirit wants you to like use it again <laughs> as a learning experience. I feel like you wasn't ready for this. Ask and receive in the reverse. This is not something you wanted. This is not how you um, picture it life <laughs> being for you. Especially with a child. Um, I'm hearing white picket fence. You just pictured a better outcome for yourself than you have currently. But this too shall pass. And I feel like whether you know it or not, things are going to get better. This is just a season in your life that you have to endure. But it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you tough. So don't feel like you lost anything in the process of whatever you had to go through. Give me an energy for the Empress. 
whether somebody wants you or not, don't let that person have the final say over who you are. Don't let somebody tell you who you are. You need to know who you are, regardless of the circumstances. So if somebody didn't want you, they rejected you, and now you're with child, you learn from it and you move forward. This was not the best situation. However, all things work for your good. God is still going to work it out in your favor. The full Aquarius energy. For some of you, you could feel like you leapt too fast into something and you didn't do all your research. Give me another energy for the Empress. The Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody walked away from you. And for some of you, left you with the kid, left you with the baby in the process. But Temperance at the bottom of the deck, things are going to balance out. Your life is transforming. Yes, this is a very significant change, but God is still going to carry you through. God is going to see you through this entire situation. Yeah, I feel like you thought this was a blessing. You thought this was a brand new opportunity. So you went into the situation for some of you blindly and then ended up being left ended up getting rejected this person not wanting to fully invest whether this person wanted to invest in multiple situations or just wanted to go towards somebody else someone new it's like somebody moved on here and left you with the kid give me one more for the six of swords Lots of six of swords here. So pile number three is definitely not going to resonate with everyone. Lots of six of swords here for pile three. Yep, the nine of swords and now somebody's devastated. Yeah, this person didn't give you what you asked for. Didn't give you what they promised you. Somebody breadcrumbed you here and they just moved on without a care in the world. I feel like you um, feel as if you should have waited with this trust to wait. Somebody's beating themselves up and you don't need to. Everything is going to work out better than expected. Just trust. Trust the process. Easier said than done. But as you go through every day, as you continue to get up every morning, things are going to get easier and easier by and by. I also see this nine of swords as like whoever walked away from you, whoever left you, whether or not you conceived a child, this person is going to end up in the nine of swords. They're going to be in regret because somebody walked away from an empress energy here. Somebody rejected an empress and they're going to see it. They're going to be made to look at themselves. So just like you had to learn from this experience, so is this person that rejected you and walked away from you. The tables will turn and this too shall pass. The final message I have is forgiven, forgiveness and learning, blessings and abundance. And then it says, create your joy, smile and laugh. You deserve to be happy for no reason. Take time to do what feels good. What I'm getting is your abundance, your blessings lie in you forgiving healing letting go because that removes any blockages when it comes to your blessings being able to actually come into your life like for some of you your blessings are blocked because there's someone you need to forgive something that you need to release you create your joy like don't give anyone power over your life don't give anyone power when it comes to your happiness. Why is forgiveness and blessings here? What is the message? Why is forgiveness and blessings here? 
what's the energy the emperor in the reverse yeah somebody wasn't good to you they were not good to you for some of you this could be um the father of your child your children this could be your own father for some of you but you have to forgive the person you can't allow the person to block your opportunities when you're holding on to things you're giving people power that they don't deserve Face of cups yeah for some of you this is somebody you had a child with you thought this was new love this is somebody that's very controlling too and very selfish they are a lover of self <laughs> Ace of Cups to the Emperor in the reverse. This person is a lover of self. This is somebody who don't really care about anybody but himself or herself. This could be a feminine operating more on her masculine energy. Give me an energy for the Emperor in the reverse. Why is this here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, and this is somebody that I likes to give to multiple people. Give me another energy for the Emperor in the Reverse for Pentacles. For some of you, this is somebody that likes to control you with money, especially if you have a kid with this person. This is somebody who does when they want to do. It's like you have to listen to what this person says. Yeah, somebody's very controlling here, and I'm also hearing very superficial. But either way, this person held back from giving you what you actually deserve. Give me an energy for the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the collective? The world. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> you have a kid with this person for someone. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. And this person held back from you. Didn't give you what you deserve. But listen here. God's got a blessing with your name on it. God... Whoever this masculine energy is, he can't outgive God on any day. So it's like, don't even worry about it. This person ain't going to give you what you deserve. They don't want to do right by you when it comes to the child. They want to breadcrumb you. Don't even worry about it. It says abundance down here. So God going to come a whole nother way so you can get what you deserve. So forgive and let go. Don't even allow this person to hold on to you energetically. Like, don't give this person power over you. Just let it go and move forward. This person, if this is your father, didn't provide for you as a kid or gave you the bare minimum, don't worry about it. God going to bless you anyway. You create your joy by what you focus on. So choose not to focus on the negative. Choose not to reflect on this situation. If anything, if you do reflect on it, just reflect on how much it has helped you evolve, how much it has changed you into the person that you are today. But don't worry about it. Whoever didn't give you what you deserve, God, what does it say? It says blessings and abundance. You still going to be blessed anyway. You still going to be abundant anyway. This person doesn't stop your show at all. You create your joy. You create the life you want. By what you choose to focus on and give to. So give to things that are going to be for your highest good, that's going to continue to elevate your mind and keep you in a positive space, power for. So, these are your readings. I hope they help someone. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.